Berlin's their scene and the setting for their graphic novels. Californian artist Rassan Ekadal has lived in the German capital for two years. French writer Mathilde Ramadier and Spanish illustrator Alberto Madrigal also call Berlin home. I'm a Berliner and want to stay here. Berlin inspires me, changes me. Berlin's the best option for me right now. Their chosen city inspired Mathilde and Alberto to produce the graphic novel Berlin 2.0. Its heroine is Margot, a literature student from Paris who fulfills her dream of moving to Berlin. At first, she's thrilled by the city and its creative energy. But her initial euphoria soon subsides. she realizes that it's hard to make a living here. Berlin is a perfect reflection of the economic crisis. We're talking about our experiences in Berlin, but those experiences have become even more universal. Temps and part-time workers are exploited regularly. The comic takes a critical look at the hype that Berlin's an affordable city where people can lead free and easy lives. To date, their book has only been published in French. Though Mathilde and Alberto are established graphic artists in France, Spain and Italy. Still, Berlin is the place they want to be. The first time I came to Berlin was for a weekend, on vacation. The atmosphere was so relaxed and I liked it so much that I decided to stay for a few months. Eight years on, I'm still here. <laughs> Berlin's reputation as a haven for artists also drew Rassan Ekadal here, all the way from Los Angeles. My wife and I took a big risk and we packed up all of our things and moved here to Berlin, um, having never visited the city before. Uh, but uh, it turned out to be the very good decision because we love it here and have found so many um, things to uh, inspire us here. For Rassan Ekadal, Berlin is the perfect backdrop for a dark thriller. Right now, he's working on the Think Tank series he produces with writer Matt Hawkins. The comic books are about Dr. David Lauren, a brilliant inventor who works in a secret lab developing weapons for the US government. But he's torn between his love of science and his conscience. He lives to create new technologies, not weapons of mass destruction. Think Tank is published in English, and its readers are international. But in the current issue in production, a new setting plays a role. One of our main characters, Mira Sway, is an agent for the CIA, and many of her operations take place in Berlin. So we get the opportunity to, to draw some of the beautiful locations here. Berlin's present is informed by its tumultuous past. In Ekadal's thriller, the city offers an edgy backdrop for a story filled with dark foreboding. Hollywood has already come calling, and there's talk that the series might be turned into a film. For artists like Rassan Ekadal, Berlin is still a source of inspiration, even if wide open spaces like the old Tempelhof airport are increasingly rare. The city is becoming more built up, and gentrification is on the rise. Berlin, poor but sexy. Berlin is freedom at the risk of reality. Artists from around the world are still more than willing to take that risk. The stories and subjects Berlin offers up are simply too good to miss.